So we're going to get into how the Adelo inventory module gives you a competitive advantage. And this may sound like it may be a little weird, but some people don't know enough about inventory to talk about it. And that's one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to teach you what to say, what to ask, and how to force your competition out of their comfort zone. I love doing that. I love getting their competition off their game, standing on one foot, kind of unbalanced. They don't know what to do. I, I enjoy that. And this is one of those ways you can really take advantage of their lack of knowledge is by knowing what we have and how to apply it to your best of your customer for the best of your customer. So two fastest ways to increase profits. There, I could have said decrease costs, but increase profits is through labor cost and food and liquor cost. This is the way you can increase it the, or have the most effect quick, quickly. You can't change the rent, really can't turn off the electricity. You can't do a lot of things, but you can do it affect dramatically through labor cost and food and liquor cost. So what do restaurant owners want with regard to their operation? Well, they want simplicity. They don't need complex things. They don't need things that are difficult. They don't have time. They need something that's simple, easy to do, and is very accurate. They look for accuracy. They want to be able to trust the numbers that they're getting. They want it to be consistent. They love consistency. They don't like anything coming at them as a surprise. And of course, they're in the, in the business to make money, so they want to be profitable, and they want to have a return on investment. They understand that. They understand that if they invest a dollar, they should get a return on that dollar. They should get that dollar back plus some. They are looking for an ROI. So with regard to simplicity, they want it easy to set up, easy to learn, easy to teach, easy to use. That's their, their idea of simplicity. They do not want anything to be complex. They want it to be so easy to set up. And actually, I, what I'd also like to put in here is they want to make it where it's easy to grow with them. So their business as their business grows, their software grows. Their um, use of that software is not limited by the software. They want to be able to grow with it and have that, so that software grow with them. With regard to accuracy, they want accuracy with regard to their orders, reports, inventory, and projections. They really want to know that they can trust the numbers. They don't want to have to second guess it. With consistency, they just want it to turn on and work. They don't want to have to worry about their product. They don't want to worry about it. They just want it to turn on and work. They want it to be processes, orders, and payments. They want that to be all done with no headaches. So consistently, turn it on, it works. They don't have to worry about it. Profitability. They want to have actionable data. They want to know what their data is coming to them. They want to know that they can trust it and make them educated decisions about their business. They want to increase terms or sales, whichever the way you want to look at it. And they want to increase their profits. And then, of course, increase bottom lines. So they need this out of our system. And finally, there's the ROI. They're business people. They understand investments. They understand that if they invest a dollar, they get uh, that dollar back in and then some. Thing is, though, they may not fully comprehend how lost products equals lost profits. And this is where the inventory system is going to help them understand and connect those dots. So why Adelo Express Inventory? Well, we're simple. We have a simplicity built into our system. That is the motto of our company, simplicity. We're the path to simplicity. That's the motto for Adelo. And this system is easy to use, and it's really simple to set up. It is accurate. It works. It, and it certainly is consistent. You turn it on, it's part of the software. It's part of the module. 
very profitable, especially since it has no cost and is included with the point of sale. And then there's the ROI that is associated with that. Inventory modules for most other POS systems are extra costs. Uh, our number one competitor charges $149 a month. Others are, are similar to that. So inventory modules with other point of sale systems that are restaurant specific, that's very key. They don't, they don't uh, give them or include them. They charge and they charge heavily for the, that, that module. That makes their return on investment a little bit more difficult when you have to cover that 149 a month before you can start returning and getting a return on that investment. Salespeople are hesitant to bring up inventory modules, and the number one reason is they don't understand it. They don't, they they can't explain the simplicity because they don't understand it enough. Based upon my 40-something years in the industry, I can tell you our, our inventory system is simple to use, simple to set up with comparison to other programs that I've worked with. This one just is so intuitive. It's logical. It has a flow to it. It makes it very easy to set up and use. It's not something that is difficult to learn. It's just something you have to take a little time to get involved with it and know what to say and know what to ask. You should take advantage of this by taking the lead. Teach the product, learn the product, and then once you've learned it, you'll be more comfortable talking about it. And then you'll be able to take your competition out of their comfort zones. So here's some questions to ask when you're talking to a restaurant. What are your food cost goals? You, you want them to, this is where you start building that relationship with the restaurant owner. You're talking their language now. So you start asking questions about their business, like these are intelligent questions. What is your food cost goal? If they don't know, then refer back to your training that we've had about what the food cost should be. Every, every restaurant should have a goal and you should be able to help them. And then ask them, how are you doing compared to your goals? Now you're going to start making them squirm because they may not even know. They may know their, their goal, what it should be, but they may not know their exact numbers. When they are dealing with an accountant, that accountant is going to give them their numbers after the fact a month or two months down the road, they're going to get their, their, their food costs from their account. And it's just a matter of what did they purchase and what do they sell? It's not really broken down into the details that they really truly need as a restaurant owner to make those decisions. So how are they doing compared to their goals? And then how often do they count their proteins? Based upon the individual restaurant, they may count their proteins daily. They may count them weekly. They won't count them monthly. That's just too far, too long a time. But they're going to count them weekly or daily. And then how often do you count the rest of your inventory? If they're counting proteins daily, they generally count everything else weekly. This then gives them an idea that you're now, you know what you're talking about. If you're asking these kind of questions, you're coming across as an expert. Okay, if they have a bar. You know, want to dig a little deeper on their counting. Do they count daily or at the end of the shift? Sometimes when they think they have a problem with the bartender stealing, they'll count every shift. They'll count the beginning of the shift, which is the ending count from the prior shift. They'll count the beginning again. So they'll actually have two counts within a short period of time between each other. And then they'll count at the end. So they'll do a count for every shift especially if they think they have a theft problem. Do they use a spreadsheet or an inventory app? You'll find out here in a minute what the number one inventory program is for independent, small to medium independence. 
but do they use a, a spreadsheet or an inventory app? And if, if so, what's the cost if they're using an inventory app? Does this app give them the ability to do mobile entry? And they go, what is that? Well, in our system, you can take the iPad and go count. There's no double entry. There's savings of time there. You can take an iPad, take an iPad mini, take an iPad, just an extra iPad, and then go count the software with that iPad. They don't have to print out count sheets and go do that. Mobile entry is one of our advantages. That gives us the, back to the ease of use. It's a much easier use when you're counting with a iPad than you are with a piece of paper. So, all right, so what is the number one inventory program for small to medium independents? It's an Excel spreadsheet. That's, the, that's it, it's just simple enough. They, are, they get these templates online. They adjust them according to their individual ingredients, and that's how they do it. Is it simple? Yeah, could be very simple. Accurate, probably. Consistent, yeah, you turn it on, it's going to work. Profitability, yeah. Return on investment, not much of an investment here. But yeah, that's the number one inventory program. So that's the, your competition here. <clears throat> is which one of these, which uh, template are they going to use? And how are you going to be better than that? And here's the questions to ask. Well, how much time do you spend every week on data entry? Because they're not probably, probably not importing sales data into this. It's a little difficult for an in small to medium independent to know how to take the file out of the POS and then import it into their inventory program. They are probably taking their sales report and manually enter that into the spreadsheet. Then they're going to go do the count. And that, that count sheet thing is going to have to be then entered into the system. There's a lot of manual entry when you do this with a spreadsheet. And that leads to, always leads to errors. Errors in counting, errors in entry. So handling other competitors, you want to force them out of their comfort zone. And you do that because they are very expensive. Typically, $99 to $200 a month is, is a very typical charge. And even then, are they true inventory for a restaurant? Are they, re are they ingredient level with recipes, batch recipes? How detailed are they with regard to ingredients and recipes? And then, if they're a third-party package, do they still interface with the front end? It may be that they're having still having to do manual entry. Dig a little deeper. You're going to find that there's a lot of problems with regard to third-party or um, add-on packages. So I'm going to pause for a minute here, and we're going to go right into five reasons that you need the Adele Express inventory module. And this is really five reasons why you should lead with this when you're talking to a restaurant. Ease of use, is, it's simple to set up, simple to use, easy to maintain, easy to teach others to assist with the inventory. It's real simple just to hand the iPad to an employee and just say, go count the cooler. Number four, it's integration to POS. There is no manual entry of sales data with our program. It's instant. You touch a button on the front end to ring up an item, and it's immediately taken out of inventory in the back end. It is an instant relationship. It is uh, no, no degradation. It's immediately taken out of inventory. It saves a lot of time every week, and it dramatically increases the accuracy of the inventory. As long as your recipes are correct, you have the right amount of ingredients coming out of inventory. It's just that simple. Mobile counting is number three. It, take the iPad to go count. There's no double counting. And this, this also saves a lot of time per week. And the data is instantly updated. And shortages are immediately shown. So as you are taking the inventory, you can see immediately you've got a case of chicken missing. 
when you can then begin the process of where is this? Have I misplaced it or is it truly gone? Number two, inventory modules included. Uh, full module is included with the Double Express package. Nothing else to buy. There's no cost to upgrade and no add-on cost. You know my favorite saying, add-ons add cost. Of course, no additional modules to buy. And of course, the number one reason, it's a very fast ROI. Uh, the National Restaurant Association says that as someone who is not doing inventory with a system, with a software package, if they're doing a manual inventory, if they move to a package like Adelo Express and has a built-in module, they can save an average of 2% of sales. And what that amounts to is if it's a small restaurant, half a million dollars a year, that's $10,000 of additional profit. 750,000 and then a million would get $20,000 in additional profit just for, just for using the software. Savings that would be enjoyed would come from reduced waste, reduced theft, menu costing, and attention to details. I think you should lead with this uh, as, as an option. And certainly, once you've installed the system, you should go back in 30, 60, 90 days and then teach them the inventory package, show them what they have, and see if they'd like to start using it. And if so, then you have an opportunity to charge for training. I don't advocate that you give away your training on this. This is going to be uh, at least three days of training to get them started. And that's with them entering the inventory, entering their own recipes. That's you training them how to use this system. You should have at least three days of uh, training involved in this. So it is a profit center for you. And it will be a cost cutting situation for the restaurant. So you both benefit. So I think that this is a, certainly an advantage for you to start the sale transaction, not only talking about point of sale, but also inventory as well. All right. What kind of questions you got, bud? You know, sometimes if they, if it's a good enough presentation, they're just like, yeah, this does exactly what I want it to do. And this is what I need and I'll, I'll take it. And I like you. So that's, um, that's what it's going to amount to. They're going to look yeah. at it as a solution, a total solution. They'll say, okay, I like the point of sale. I like what this does. And oh yeah, I get inventory too. Okay. Then that's even better. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, that's something we're, we're kind of working on. Um, got to, yeah, it's just time consuming to do it. Um, as you know, probably, uh, yes. it's, a, it's a lot of time to compare two systems, three or four, you, you know, the more you start adding, uh, you know, but, uh, it, you know, I can tell you right now, some of the systems we sell, they disconnect all the time. They, they're like a nightmare. Adelo is so solid. Oh my God. I, you can't break it. You know, um, it's super solid, you know, as far as being a solid good piece of software it's really really good um you know in my opinion of the of all of the tablet based systems it's it, it's head and shoulders above and it might be that amazon web services there you know that's super strong too but um the software is just solid you know we haven't had any problems with stuff disconnecting and you know, even like heartland system um the stuff would just you get a little glitch in the um in your Wi-Fi for a second and everything disconnected. And then you had to go manually back in there and reset everything. And um, same thing with Lavu. A lot of times um, their stuff's a nightmare to connect half the time it disconnects and you got to, you know, call support to, to get connected back or the customer does anyway. Uh, eventually they learn how to do it. But I tell you, that's something that um, I haven't seen with the Adelo at all. It just, it's always up and running. That's why I, I love the system. Uh, I think it's awesome. It works. And it's a yeah, company it of solid software that uh, we write good software. Then you put it on the backbone of Amazon. You put it on that same backbone. When's the last time you heard about Amazon going down? Yeah, they've got a lot of redundancy. 
tons yeah. of it. We're, we're riding on their coattails with regard yeah. to what they see in their platform. Yeah. It, does it cost us more? Sure. Yeah. But is it worth it? Oh, yeah. 